Hey guys, so for this video, I'll be showing to you how you're going to configure your Visual Studio Code for you to be able to create your C programs for this one could be for C programmers, okay, or you are into C programming language. So first up, of course, you need to install your Visual Co uh, Studio Code. All you have to do is to go to this link here, the code at visualstudio.com and then download the build that is appropriate for your computer. I'm using Windows, so I'm just going to download mine for Windows. So in my case, I've already installed it. So if you don't have it in your computer, um, again, just download and install it to your computer. So it's kind of pretty easy, okay? After that one, then maybe you could run it. So in my end, uh, let me run this one. This was Studio Code. Okay, so this, is my you know that's right now so after this one this one go to this documentation here for c or c plus plus for visual studio code then follow the instructions so the instructions are, are actually are uh, very you know easy to follow so i believe they're starting a problem with this one okay so we need to install this open the open your visual studio code or and then go to the extensions you can have the shortcut key with the, which is control shift x and then search for c plus plus so let's do that um maybe okay i will not use any uh shortcuts key shortcuts so just click on this thing here go to extensions then find c or you can also see that here okay so you can click that one and then install the c C++. Okay, so it is installed now. Next, what's next? After you install the extension, you need, uh, when you open the .c, okay, maybe let's just skip this one. After that one, we need to install our compiler. Okay, so C programs does not run without a compiler, so it's important that we should install this one. So what are we going to do is to, of course, just follow the instructions written in this document. Okay, so we will going to use uh, MySys2. So we need to download the installer of MySys2. Download. Then, yeah, I think I already downloaded this one. Oh, let me cancel this. So just download for my end. I already downloaded the application. We have actually two in here. So maybe we can run this. And then yes, then set up. Then next, just click next, guys. Um, yeah, next, 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 until it's finished. Okay, let's wait this one to finished. It's now forty percent. So for your your life not to get boring, maybe while watching this one, you can also see the details. What are you know? What are the files that are extracted or installed in your computer? Okay. Okay, what's next? next finish okay so just um go to this link guys and then check the instructions to so continue we need to update the packages so we need to run this command um, pacman that's syu then enter okay Okay, synchronizing package databases. Let's wait for it. Finished. Let's make it bigger. Okay, let's proceed. Yes. And then yes. 
Okay, then let's try to continue. Uh, we are now in number five, number six. Randomizes to in your mice from start menu, then update the rest of the packages. So let's try that. Open. Okay, then run the Pacman does SU. I just copy that one to make it easy. Okay, let's bring this up. Okay, yes. Proceed. Okay, just wait until it's done. Okay, I guess it's done now. Next, go to instruction number seven. Now my sys two is ready for you. You will probably want to install some of the tools and the Ming WW64GCC to start compiling. So to do that, let's copy the command to make our life easier, you know, and then paste it here. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have copied this one. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Then let's wait for that one to install. Okay, so enter selection, maybe uh, just the default. Um, yeah, just enter it. And then proceed with the installation. Yes. Okay, then wait for that one to install. So it's pretty easy, guys. All you have just to do is to actually follow these instructions here. And then to verify, after you're done with number seven, you need to verify if it's working successfully. So go back to the documentation of CC++ and uh, check with this command here, the G++ or the GDP version. If it's not working, maybe it was um, the bin folder of main 64 is not yet added into your environment variables. So to do that, add the, this folder, I mean, this directory into the path environment variable. Okay, so maybe let's just wait this one to done and uh, so I can show you how to do that. Okay, so I think it's done now. So we need to verify if everything's successful. Okay, open a command prompt and type this one here. Let's try this. Send the... Okay, so if the installation is successful, you should be able to see the version. And let's try this one. Okay. So in this case, I no longer, I think, I no longer made some changes in my environment variables, but um, if the G++ or the GDP is not available, 
in the when you're when running this command so maybe you can check the environment variables in order for you to do that is to open the settings and open the window settings then search for uh, environment variables or or you can simply just check by typing environment variables and click this one then check the path if you have this okay if you install the mysis in your c so in my case you can see i have that in my c um in here and then ming 64 and then but if you are using by the way guys if you are using the 32 bit you can also install 32 bit of my system i think we we have that okay so now let's try if we will be able to create our first hello world program okay so let's go in here then yeah let's try our first hello world program maybe i wanted to create a folder open folder let's try to create a sample okay sample c program then select that folder then let's create a file here uh, maybe i would say hello let's see okay so after that one type in your um, code here so And then, yeah. We, let's print the hello world. And try if this, if it works. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess, bells and the and after that one, guys, um, right click. Sorry, I, I forgot to say the instructions. Then build and debug active file. As you can see, you have now here the jcc.exe build and debug active file. So as you can see, this is the directory of, to where your GCC is, um, I mean, um, is installed. Okay, you just click that one. And then you should be able to okay, see the result here. Okay, so maybe at the first um, the first run it goes like this. So maybe we can run this one again and then see if it works successfully. So as you can see, you have here the hello world. Okay. So that's it. You can now use your Visual Studio code in creating your C programs. So as easy as that. So, so do you have any questions? Feel free to contact me in uh, Messenger or you can also email me if you like. So that's all guys. And thank you for watching to this video tutorial. Have a nice day ahead and God bless you.